Sue avoids red nail polish since it would call attention to her stubby hands. A clear polish keeps her nails sparkling. Once a week, Sue gives herself a complete manicure. Then daily care of her nails is easy. In the same way, regular shampoos and daily brushing keep her hair clean and glossy. And these finishing touches that add so much to Sue's cleanliness and neatness all fit into a simple schedule of daily activities. And now for at least eight hours of sleep. Good health is a rule, for health is one of the foundations of your appearance. And now another little habit of cleanliness and neatness. Dirt under your fingernails must be cleaned every day. And it's better in private. All right, Don, you're next. Now for a cleansing morning shower. Meanwhile, Sue gives thought to the day. What will she wear? That depends on her activities, of course. For school, choose comfortable, not too dressy clothes. Perhaps a skirt and a blouse to go with it. But what about these two blouses? Which is more appropriate for school? Which goes with the skirt? Fellows like to see girls dress up, but in general, only for a special occasion. Yes, choose clothes that are suitable, suitable to your needs and situation. But remember that any clothes look better with good posture. Now that her clothes are selected, Sue is ready to fix her hair. What to do with those curls she so carefully put in last night? It doesn't matter just what hairstyle you use, as long as it looks right on you. Upswept, loosely over the shoulders. Just be sure your hairdo suits you and that your hair is neatly in place. And here's something else for your appearance. Eat a hearty, balanced breakfast. There's nothing like wholesome food to help keep you in good health. And that means a clear complexion, shining eyes, glossy hair, in short, that means a better appearance. Don's all set to look right at school, isn't he? Mother, too, keeps a good appearance, even around the house, for that keeps up her spirits. And father dresses according to his work, relying on cleanliness and neatness as the foundations of his appearance. So, for each individual, the finishing touches of appearance may be his or hers alone, suited to individual needs actions, ideas. After breakfast, Sue goes back to her room for some finishing touches. Her makeup. Her powder is one that blends with her natural coloring. She pats it on lightly, then carefully smooths it over her face. And be careful when it comes to lipstick. Yes. Choose a shade that goes with your own coloring and sets off your clothes to advantage. Then, easy does it. Now smooth out gently and wipe off any excess to leave only a smooth film of color, following the lines of your own lips. And finally, a last minute once over in the mirror. Make sure your hemline is even. Don't let your slip show. Come on, we'll be late. Oh, boy, at the mirror again. Well, the mirror could help you check your clothes, too, and improve your posture. Cultivate such habits as cleanliness and neatness, so you'll be well-groomed. For all through the day, others are looking at you. Your mirror tells you what others see. How do you look? How does Sue look? Health, posture, cleanliness, neatness. These grooming habits form the basis of a good appearance and a well-planned outfit of clothes, well-cared-for hands and nails, light touches of makeup, a becoming hairdo.
Oh, Sue, where are you? In my room, Don. Joe called. He said he'd be a little late. Say, do you look smooth? Well, thank you, sir. You look mighty elegant yourself. Uh oh, this is where we came in. And this is where Don and Sue go out for a pleasant evening. Their good grooming habits help them in friendships and in business. For your success depends a great deal on how you look. Thank you.